Okay, so first of all, what chapter is it? Um, chapter two. Two, number? Fifty-five. Fifty-five. So this is pretty good standard uh, stoichiometric calculation. So, uh, you have this piece of jewelry, it says? Uh, yeah, sterling silver. Okay, sterling silver is like a ring or a brooch. Jewelry. Just this ring. Okay. Uh, let's say your jewel jewelry is, uh, like, spherical. Okay, <laughs> so this is made of copper, right? And uh, what else did it say? It says uh, silver. Copper and silver. And it says it's 92% silver? 92.5%. 92.5% silver. So just by subtracting from 100, if there's nothing else there, uh, that would make 7.5% copper. Is that okay? And it wants to know how many atoms of copper there are. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. And then does it give us the mass of the yeah. jewelry? 33.24 grams. 33.24 grams. Okay, so you have that mass. This is similar to the question you asked me earlier. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Here we go. Uh, similar, so this would be good practice here. We're going to, what we're going to do, we start with what we know. This stuff jumps in magically in the middle, and we're going to end up at atoms. Okay, so if you saw that picture I drew up, I'm going to convert the grams to moles, and I'm going to convert the moles to atoms. That, that's going to be my calculation, okay? So, 33.24 grams. Now, first of all, not all of this is copper, and I'm only interested in copper. So I'm going to multiply by 0 0.075 uh, as a decimal, change from the percent, so that now I know all this mass that's left over is just copper. Is that okay? Then, my next step is now to go to moles, like I would before. To go to moles, if moles is what I want, it must be on the numerator. Grams on the bottom. And copper, if you look at your periodic table, is 63.55. Okay, so now I'm at moles. Grams are gone. Now I need to go to atoms. I must use Avogadro's number. I put the 6.022 on top because I want atoms and I want to get rid of moles. Is that okay as well? Mm -hmm. So then, oh, there we go. I guess I'm done. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. All right, I'll let you do the calculation at home.